The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. City port never ceased working. Operations carried out throughout the night were continued in the early mornings. Goods stacked high along the docksides were brought into port by road and by rail. The lorries and wagons were then reloaded with cargo from incoming tramp steamers, ferries and liners for delivery to inland cities and towns. Everyone and every method of transport played a part in moving goods into and out of the port. The work of our tugs was an important link in the chain. It was non-stop and round the clock. The lifeblood of the whole operation was coal. Without this dirty stuff, industry would have ground to a halt. On this very busy day, Big Mac arrived at the briefing having worked all night. You know, it never fails to amaze me. Every day I see something new. Today it's the sight of a floating sack of coal, no less. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd been shipping coal, you'd be dirty. <laughs> well, at least you don't smell that something. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, Top Hat. Of course you don't smell, Top Hat. Coal don't ever smell. I know it doesn't worry her, but he could get a hose down before coming to join us. We Star Tugs have a reputation to keep up. Even you, warrior, after a day in the garbage yards, don't look too scruffy. Oh, no. well, you worry about is keeping that piece of glass in your eye clean. Not only my monocle, all of me. Of course, you always go over nasty jobs, don't you? All right, all right, cut the back chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, at least one Star Tug's already been working. <laughs> well, we can see that. Yeah, that's enough, Top Hat. You go and stretch your neck with car ferry duties. <laughs> then take the garbage barge to the city dump. That'll be nice for you. Garbage? Me? Do I have to put up with this? Well, I have to put up with you, Top Hat. Yeah. Top Hat, why do I always have an argument with you? Now, yes, move sir. out. Your Come problems. on. I'm so sorry. Bye, Top Hat. Yeah, but I don't see why... Get on with it. Oh, well, here goes. <sighs> Some people are so tiresome. <laughs> you know, to be fair to him, he does work as hard as we do. Really? We know. It's just his attitude gets too much sometimes. OJ, load up the new propeller from Lucky's Yard and take it to the liner and dry dock. Sunshine, ten cents needs your help over at the storage depot. When you finish, go help OJ. Don't waste any time, Sunshine. I need all the help I can get with that propeller. OK, OJ, we'll be there. Warrior, Big Mac, your job's the most important. You know we're competing for the steel company's contract. Show that Star Tugs can handle big steel loads better than Z Stacks, huh? Warrior, see you get your loads across the bay without any mishaps. Be careful, don't forget, it's a very high tide today. Don't try anything rash. Off you go. Right, quick wash down, then we'll show those Z Stacks, eh, Warrior? Yeah, we will. I'll hose you down as we travel along, Big Mac. That'll save a bit of time, eh? <laughs> It was a high tide, highest in years. Ten cents in sunshine found the quayside flooded, and they would have to work twice as hard to rescue their barge load. On the other side of the harbour, the steel company was preparing for its move to its new works across the bay. Big Mickey was the yard's biggest crane. He had just finished placing a very tall and heavy bridge section onto a barge. 
it was now loaded and ready to move off. The Z-Stacks were in charge of this operation. Well, 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 the Star Tots. Yeah, what time do you call this, eh? You needn't have bothered. There's no work for you. We've got it all sewn up. Yeah, you said it, Zack. We've as much right to go for this contract as you have. Think you'll do a better job, Big Mouth? You ain't got no chance. Three against one, see? No chance. What do you mean, three against one? There's only two of you. Well, you don't do much except get in the way, warrior, so we count you on our side. <laughs> Can't stop here all day. We've work to do. So long, losers. <laughs> Zack's engine doesn't sound too healthy, warrior. Hey, Big Mickey, how about a real fast load-up? I'm ready for you. I heard what they said. Hope you beat them to it. We will, no problem. You be careful, warrior. That's some high load you've got there. Just take it easy. We'll catch those Z-Stacks. You see if we don't. You're all loaded up, guys. Good luck. You can bet on it. Thanks, Big Mickey. Told you about your engine sack. You should have had a scene too. Nothing wrong with it. Anyway, I've got an idea of fool loves to listen. If we cut through the canal, we'll get there first. Got to. If they follow us, they can't get past because it's not wide enough, right? Brilliant. I don't know how you do it. Hey, let's go. Wait till we tell Captain Zero how we beat them. See, we're catching them. Oh, what are they up to? They're heading for the canal. I know that. That's it. They're taking a shortcut. All right. We'll follow them. No, we won't. They won't get through. It's high tide. So what? Bridges, warrior. Bridges. So what? High tide, high load. Oh, yeah. Bridges. Ten out of ten. They won't get that load under, will they? Let them go. They'll have to come back, and we'll be out of sight. Several bridges spanned across the canal. The lowest one carried the railway. The Z-Stacks hadn't connected their tall load with the tide, the highest of the season. Top Hat was coming towards them from the opposite direction, with a wide load as well as the garbage barge. There was no way the Z-Stacks and the Star Tugs could pass each other. When they did come face to face, someone was going to have to go back the way they came. They first saw each other at the bend leading to the railway bridge which had the lowest arch over the canal. Top Hat stopped when he saw the Z stacks. Go into reverse if you please, it's my water. I repeat, it is my water. We're heavier. My load is wider. You're five seconds to back up. But, well, so have you then. Right, five. They made it, Top Hat. I am coming through. Four. So am I. Three. We'll see. Two. One. Get to the bridge fast, Seven. You've got him. Watch my wake. That's the half many's match. Both Zebedee and Top Hat put on full power and surged forwards towards each other and the bridge. Top Hat, look at his load. He's going to hit! Hold on! I'm going into reverse! Oh. He's back enough, didn't I tell you, Zack? Didn't even make a fight of it! <laughs> oh, no. I see why now the bridge said... Reverse engines! Quick! Oh, no! I can't stop! That's real zero thinking, dummy. 
I suppose Zack and I had better go and get some help. That's a mail train, isn't it? Oh dear, the bridge. It's... it's... Wait a minute, I've got it. If I can get that steel rig under the bridge, maybe it'll hold while the train gets across. It's worth a try. And don't waste time cutting me free. Take me with you. You'll take that risk, Tinker? Of course I will. It's only rubbish. Top Hat's idea was to try and prop up the bridge if he could get the steel rig into place before the train got there. It was signaled through, so there was no way anybody could stop it. The bridge was weakened by the accident. Top Hat could only hope his idea would work. There was no way of warning the train. to save that train. Oh, I see. I'll never complain about your spell again. Rubbish can be valuable stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's been a hard day. Mm. But we're all cleared up now. Yep. I bet everybody else had a really easy day waiting for the tide to go down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet Top Hat delivered Lord Stinker, then moored up somewhere quiet. Yeah. Somehow he always manages to take it nice and easy. Next day, work started on the bridge. There was no serious damage to the goods engine, and its wagons were easily recovered from the canal. The steel company weren't pleased with the damage the Z Stacks had done to their steel rig. However, it came out all right in the end. The steel company got the contract for repairing the bridge, and <laughs> I had no difficulty in convincing them that my Star Tug should get the contract for delivering the steel.